you guys know that when you buy gasoline, a lot of you guys drove here today, you pay a gas pump, a gas tax. You pay a federal gas tax, and you pay a state gas tax. The federal gas tax, if you drive a car, a gasoline is 18.4 cents a gallon. If you drive diesel, it's 24.4 cents a gallon. It hadn't been raised since the early 90s. On the state side, you pay a gas tax that goes to transportation about 16.6 .6 cents a gallon right now. It changes twice a year, but currently today, you're paying about 16.6. .6. So combine those together, 18.4 plus 16.6, .6, about 35 cents a gallon. It sounds like a lot of money. Well, the problem is it's not really keeping up with the needs. And there are two variables that are going to cause us a lot of concern in the coming years. All right? And Dr. Scott gets her money from the gas tax, too. A lot of it from the FTA side. People don't realize that either. So what happens is there are two main variables that dictate the revenue flow. One is the efficiency of the vehicle you drive. And number two is the miles that you drive. So I don't have to tell you guys anything. You see it. You watch TV ads every night. Every car maker in America is advertising cars that get better and better gas mileage. Now, we don't know where we're headed on that, but we know we're headed up. We don't know if it's going to be 35 miles a gallon soon or 40 or 50, whatever it's going to be. We just know we're headed up. Miles driven. Americans are not moving to rural Georgia. Like yesterday in Vidalia, I was breaking the news to all these rural counties. I said, look at all the stats. Rural America is not growing. The mega regions are growing. You look at that Atlanta, Charlotte, Washington, when people live in urban settings, they actually drive less, all right? And that's good though, we want them to. We tell them to ride, we tell them to ride a bus, ride a train, walk, bike, telework. They live, work, play in the same area. So we want that to happen. So what's gonna happen is the trend of vehicle miles traveled and the efficiency of cars, those two variables are working against the funding mechanism, how we fund transportation in America. So what we do in Georgia Everybody in the country is watching. That's why the General Assembly didn't say, let's just raise the gas tax. You could raise the gas tax, it would be bloodshed probably on the House and Senate side in, in our General Assembly. You don't hear a single congressman saying, hey, let's raise the gas tax, because they know raising the gas tax probably will not be popular. And in a 10 year period, the raise you make in the gas tax may be disappear through inflation, through better efficiency of cars, and people driving the same or less. So the sales tax method, which is a popular tool across this country, was chosen back in 2010. It took them three or four years to get to that point. So that's why we're here today. We're here today with a sales tax because the gas tax mechanism we have is not working. Thank you, Mr. Long.